Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin. In this week's video, we're gonna be working in the studio. I'm gonna create a value sketch and then do a studio painting of a street scene photograph that I took when we were in Santa Monica a couple of years ago. Painting a group of people waiting in line at a fruit cart sounds like a really hard thing for me to paint, but if I do a value sketch, I really simplify the subject matter into its most basic shapes. You don't want to get going on a painting thinking. You really want to go into a painting session with a con. You really want to go in thinking about the composition and the value. I wasn't trying to be too careful with my drawing at this point. You know, this is only a sketch, but I, the biggest thing that happens during the value sketch is that you start eliminating things. So a lot of the detail that you see is taken away and we're really only focusing on those big shapes of dark and light. After I had the value sketch and I had the drawing on the painting surface, I went in with some thin permanent rose oil paint and started to block in the shapes of dark and light. I was blocking in everything that was gonna fall into shadow using the permanent rose paint and just leaving the tone of the canvas panel for all of the light touch surfaces. From there, my underpainting was done and it was time to start going in with thick paint. I was just having a lot of fun. I know I started with the lights in this case. I had the shadows indicated with that permanent rose paint and I was able to come back in with some very light paint and already right off the bat, I started to get something that resembled my subject. I was having a lot of fun painting. I was just really digging through the piles of paint. And I think that over the coming paintings I'm going to work in this same way where I just really have to do a lot of mixing and a lot of measuring and a lot of painting and I really kind of want to push forward and because we're going into spring and we're going to be having some great weather coming up I just really want to have my skills at their peak. Painting like today is just a really good training session. After the first day was done, I, I just continued on just mixing more paint colors and paying attention to the values that I was using. And pretty soon, after two days of painting, my painting was done. It's all about just the exercise of doing, and it's just about keeping your arm going and keeping yourself engaged with the process. We got a little bit more video to check out, but here is the finished painting. That was a lot of painting, but I'm glad that I went through with it. I think that I stayed true to the idea that I composed with my value sketch. But we've come here to the Reedsburg Skate Park. And well, with painting, there's so many decisions to make that it's nice to get out. Skateboarding completely takes all that away. It just refreshes me and I just hit the reset mode. I stayed simple in my painting today. I stayed simple in my idea. I followed my value sketch. I'm gonna stay I'm gonna get warmed up and I'll close out the video with just a couple of simple skateboard tricks as well. Today is Thursday. I always post videos on Friday. It's Thursday today. So that one was kind of right down to the buzzer. I'll edit all night tonight. I have I'll have work tomorrow and then we start our spring break at school. So I have a whole week and a half off from school for spring break. Hey, everything is is feeling good. I know it looks cold out here and these are some of the nicest days of the year. I mean, it's like air conditioning out here and it's overcast. Thanks so much for joining me. 